Home at last, home at last, sweet Jeebus, I'm home at last. Land of kitties and husband. I can do all those things I don't do when I'm performing, like eat carbohydrates. I may have missed Easter and St. Patrick's Day, but I'm making up for them with my special drunken Easter eggs. I'm taking these up to my husband's production office, my agent's office, and to the place that I temp at. Yes, I'm buttering them up using actual butter. But not everything wonderful in life happens on a stage. But spring is in the air, and while we wait to decide whether we're going to Vegas with this show, or if another show is coming along, we can enjoy springtime in New York, which means barbecues and bike rides, not to mention classes, auditions, and working full-time. So my first appointment my agency got me is for World Goes Round, a review of Kander and Ebb's songs, a show I love. And my close friend and neighbor is also called in. Wouldn't be a mitzvah if we both got to do it. It's a show with no dancing, heck, no lines, just great song after great song. What do you do when you need a coaching on the music, but you're an out-of-work actor? Well, you share a coaching session with said best friend and neighbor, Kim. And then, maybe she makes you some dinner, and you have a pajama pants party while watching Game of Thrones and eating lasagna roll-ups. Hi, on, puppy. Come on, bud. Did he just get your junk? He got my junk. I didn't get the part. But we had a lot of fun getting ready for the audition. And the thing about auditions is, much like buses and men, there's always another one coming right up. I've never been one to wait for the phone to ring, so it's time to get back to the open calls. And open calls mean early mornings. These auditions are open to anyone in the union, and they see everyone in the union time permitting. Good morning. And when a theater such as this one is casting their entire season of plays and musicals, there are a lot of parts up for grabs on one specific day, so the line gets started early. However, the buildings that these studios are in often don't open till 8.30, 9 a.m., so all the stockbrokers and lawyers in New York walk by the actors thinking we're just waiting for Letterman tickets. We do this rain or snow, so thankfully it is spring. Still, you do not want to get in between an actor and the elevator that leads to their dreams. But no whining. There are non-union kids here who got here before I did who probably won't even get seen. I could have lost that easy temp job while I was off doing theater, and then I'd be unemployed. I could live alone without my incredible husband, wonderful friends, or sweet kitties. So I don't know what's next. But if it's more of this, bring it. <laughs>